This is a segment where we take a look at a board game based on an IP, and I tell you if the IP and the mechanisms match or not. Today we're looking at the Two Towers deck building game. Here's Lord of the Rings deck building game. The first thing you do is choose a character. Each character will give you a unique card that you will put into your deck with a number of courage and despair. Then what you will do, you will shuffle up your deck and draw five cards. The game only has one currency, which is power. You'll be able to spin that power to purchase cards here on the path. Each card in the path will have a number of power required to purchase it, number of victory points for your win condition, and perhaps it'll have a power that can be utilized when drawn. What you're trying to do is defeat the bad guys, and collectively as a group, you will be defeating these bad guys. The two towers has one differentiator from the other ones in the line, which is this wall deck. Certain cards will have you draw from this deck, and will have negative effects that will occur. You do not want to draw from this deck. The worst card in the deck is the breach card, which gives a negative one ongoing power. Once this is done, the wall has been breached, and that is Helm's Deep the for two you. Tower deck building game has no connection between the IP and the mechanisms. This is actually a game that was designed for DC and even that was a little bit of a stretch. You do have the screenshots of the characters to be playing out with different powers and I guess you're going through and attacking and fighting the supervillains from the movie but the movie felt less like an attacking game than it did. I mean it was a big battle but it just doesn't feel like that's what Frodo is doing etc. And then they try to shoehorn things in in this one to make it a little bit more thematic but if I was looking at like a big Lord of the Rings experience, or even specifically the Two Towers, it would not be this deck building game that I would think of. Instead, it feels like, hey, we got a deck building game, let's slap some movie steals on it and, and, and have our day here. And that's really what it feels like that you're going to get. So if you're looking for a thematic Lord of the Rings experience, you know, maybe you'd shift towards something like War of the Ring versus this deck building experience. But if you're looking for something simple and you're looking for a deck builder and you happen to like Lord of the Rings, then I think that this will fit the narrative that you're looking for. And there are three games in the series, one for each of the movies, but just don't go in expecting the IP and the mechanisms to match whatsoever.